That's what I was kind of waiting for, some deep thrusts. Hi, welcome to another episode of Tech Geek Gamers, a show where we do board game playthroughs and video game let's plays, or like today, where we just talk. Because our opinion matters. To Yay. us. I can guarantee there will be no opinions in this. <laughs> just answers. Yes. Before and after every show we normally film, we uh, talk about random shit. <laughs> Chris was like, why aren't we filming this random shit? Welcome to Random Shit. <laughs> <laughs> With Techie Gamer. I'm Corey, this is Rob, Tara, and Chris. Uh, very similar to a regular uh, podcast you may have seen everywhere on the w inter uh, internet, on the web internet. I was going to say the website. The I website. only go to one website. Which is? TechieGamers.com. Of course. Good answer. Or YouTube.com slash TechieGamers. Google. <laughs> and then I search. And then Google, yeah. <clears throat> um, remember, we post every Monday. How have we not like, bought them yet? You're, you're watching that right now. What? what? The Googles. How have we not bought Googles yet? You know, <laughs> That's got <laughs> to be right around the corner for us. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and then one we website for all the things we Scale pacing to towards 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> Google's next. <laughs> Here's what I get you. World domination after 2,000 subscribers. Oh, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go around the table and uh, everybody brought a random topic and we're going to discuss this mm -hmm. for your amusement. If Hopefully. you like what you see, click the like button. Or, or join the conversation in the comments below. below. Yeah. 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 Except for, like, or like comment on the conversation. Joining would be some weird like space and time machine where they could teleport back and then they would be here. That It'll be, be episode cool. if someone like appears right there. Good on. That's right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Maybe, okay. So maybe we should do a live. Hang okay. Hold on. If one of our subscribers have invented a space-time machine... <laughs> Here's your spot at the table. On. We'll wait. Don't worry. Okay, clearly, our reach is not that large. No, not yet. Okay. First Google, then the time machine. First 2,000 subscribers. Then Sorry. we can buy the Googles. There's got to be a question mark in there. <laughs> There's a profit in there somewhere. It's number four. How are you guys doing? Are we breaking a Wonderful. profit? Wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Are we breaking a profit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. We, we, put, we put in more, yeah, I guess with all the equipment. We'll no, yeah, and no. Time and energy. You Very, people are costing me money. Uh, I Providence smiles for every episode that we do. Smile, they're free. Hobbies can be I know. expensive. Good hobby, though. Great hobby. Sorry, sorry. sorry. Awesome pastime. How, oh, are, yeah. how are you doing? Good, besides being... I guess we've we've never actually shared with our subscribers my my year. We'll say but no. We're not going to go too much into it. I'm doing good. good. I got a new job, um, and uh, uh, my new home is underway. We'll say on its way. Underway yeah. sounds like it's underway. Well, soon it's, to be? it's in Renos. Yeah, so it's underway. Okay. Yeah. I, I, what'd I you clean? I just... What'd you clean today in the house? Uh, today stained fences. Woohoo! Mm. Not okay. even in the house better. anymore. He's already on the outside of the house. Yeah, making it all pretty. He's not even moving in yet. Then that doesn't Stain. count. So technically you did nothing in the house. Everybody else is okay? Yeah. I had a long day today at work. So I'm like, oh. I'm tired. So I apologize for the lack of enthusiasm I currently have. Better. Late night last night too. Yeah, I went to go see Mumford and Sons. That was fun. Good show. It was very good. Not that I'm jealous or anything, but shut it! Sorry, Tara. You okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just sleep deprived. Yeah. Deprivation is awesome. <laughs> Wait till and, you have the second one. And you want another minion. Yeah. Or a dog. I'll take the dog. The dog will be worse. No, I can guarantee. Gonna, I can stick the dog in a hutch that, yeah. and leave it at home for eight hours and not go to jail. Yeah, that's true. And I don't have to get to be the size of a small whale. Also and I can still fit my clothes. True. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's my whale. <laughs> <laughs> She's a whale. Cradling something. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> and we just insulted, I think, every mother. Oh, come on. Most moms have a She said it. Uh, yeah, that's true. That's true. She okay. started it. To be fair, though, the boobs are awesome, but everything else, I did miss my feet for a good six months. And I also miss pants. They were waiting for you when it was all done. I would never miss pants. No, me neither. <laughs> no, my hips are bigger now, yeah, so I can't fit. Who needs those? I've got into a string of I just don't need pants anymore. <laughs> Walk in the door, pants off. Where we're going, we don't need <laughs> pants. Yeah. <laughs> Is anyone coming over today? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Am I going to be in sort of <laughs> involved with any sort of stream today? Nope. 
Am I gonna you answer the door? Yeah. Chest yep. up. Yeah, but like where the camera situation. I've done Skype is. conversations <laughs> where it's like business up here and then party down below. I'm not wearing pants right now. That well, you're because you're wearing a skirt. I don't have to know that. I think they can. They can see, see, see under the table. See. What? Well, they can. See, they can possibly see <clears throat> bare shins. Ooh, naughty. Yeah, we're really big in a fetish site. The the bare shins. Yeah, the, 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 check out those new techie gamers with that bare shins. Those bare shins. <laughs> check I'm these babies the out. ankle right now. We All right, call let's... a guy with no shins. Shinless? Huh? 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 Tony. Huh? Get it? Toe? <laughs> Me? Tony? There. That one's just for you guys. That one's free. <laughs> oh my god. And right. that's our profit, folks. Okay, um, let's go with... Chris, what's your topic? So, a little bit of a backstory. Uh, about a week ago, I got a random poke on Facebook from a somewhat attractive female. People still poke? Yeah, actually, that was my initial reply to the conversation. It's like, like the what the hell? People still yeah. poke? That's still a thing? So I'm like, you know what? I'm pretty sure this is a bot or scam or something weird. But let's have some fun with it. So I start a conversation and... Uh, like weeks, two weeks, one week, but a week and a half later, it finally comes out that she's uh, not a she. It could be a he. Who knows what it is? Hey, baby. Uh, it's not an actual AI bot because it wasn't scripted answers, but it was a person sitting at the uh, at a keyboard trying to bait me into putting my credit card information onto a site. And the way the conversation goes is just mind-blowing in my opinion but <clears throat> she goes you know what we we chat 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 and then she's like hey can i ask a favor of you sure why not can you click on this link and vote for me i'm in a competition i'm in second place i need your vote sure send me the link click on the link okay what do you see and it was like camsters.com or some porn site or whatever she's like okay good so all you got to do is put in your credit card information and you'll get a voter ID and you can vote for me. I'm like, yeah, sure. I, I did that. Sure, I did that. Uh-huh. What, what do I do next? She's like, you fucking liar. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I started having some fun with it. I'm like, no, I didn't lie. Okay, yeah, I lied. But you know what? I'll, I'll do you a favor if you do me a favor and we'll go into some... We, we'll skip that part because I get a little crude with her. Or it or whatever it is um my question i guess we'll summarize in, and obviously i don't give my credit card information but i don't know why basically yeah, i should have man i could have voted for it she could have won hottest dj what was it the competition was hottest dj in china representing her country of canada so she was the canadian contestant. Your porn sites are really big for hosting those dj competitions oh and she sites. was like oh no 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 it's I not, guess. they're our sponsor. Don't worry, honey, and sweetie, and she's using all these. Muffin. Yeah, and so I'm like, come on, who falls for this? That's really my question. How, how okay, is, wait, how, how long this, was this conversation going on? A uh, week and just about a week. Yeah, who falls for this? I, was, <laughs> I told you from the beginning. I was, <laughs> a week like, long. Like, I really dig this. this. This is <laughs> really. I totally believe you. <laughs> she is into me. I'm in. 90%. Off the initial poke that I was like, this has got to be a, a bot or something. Okay. Why? Like, why is somebody poking me here that I don't know and we have zero common friends? And then I looked at the profile and there's zero friends, very few posts, like basically all the red flags of this is a bot or a fake profile. So I was just having some fun with it. And I actually wanted to see what porn site maybe I frequented. I don't know, right? Did you? I've seen it before. I, I've never actually frequented it because it's one of the things you have to put a credit card. Okay. Come on. Who pays for that stuff nowadays? Ah, yeah. uh, the internet. Yeah. It's all free. Yeah. So. If you don't know how to get it. So what's going on? Okay, the question okay, is. So this is a long this, walk. Yeah, falls for this kind of stuff. I'll, I'll start off with when I was younger, I did fall for something like this. Really? Yes. I didn't actually give my credit card information but I was, I was like, oh yeah, this girl, she wants me. Oh yeah, 
chatting her up on whatever it was. I think it was MSN Messenger. Oh wow. Yeah. So I'm like, oh yeah, all right, we're gonna, I'm gonna get some. All right. I'm gonna see thigh. Yeah, I know. And it, and then at the end, I'm like, oh well, she just wants me to pay to see her. And I actually even went on the site, didn't give my credit card, but I signed up and had a profile on the site and went to her chat room and was like. Hey, you know, trying to be like now a nice guy and like, hey, what's going on? What are you up to? You know, you shouldn't be doing this. You're better than that. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's horrible. Mind you, I was like, I don't know, 19 years old, 20 years old. So now that I'm 33, I'm looking back at this and I'm like, how can somebody be so damn gullible? Tell, ask yourself that question. I, well, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I just. You're new to the internet. I uh, guess, right? You're like, you've I never can, seen it before. I can honestly say I've I've never created a profile or signed up for any porn site. Nor have I. I'm not well, saying... that's because you're just really good at finding the, good, the free stuff. I, I guess. It's, it's everywhere. <laughs> Very, yeah, it's everywhere. <laughs> think, Literally yeah. everywhere. Um, and I've ne- that's never happened to me. You've never actually been engaged with by a, a, a bot or, like, a fake profile on Twitter or Facebook or anything? No, maybe back in the day with AOL chat. Or uh, MSN ICQ. Messenger. Hotmail. I, Hotmail was horrendous. No. For spam oh, leaking yeah. through the filter. Mm-hmm. So I got I got hit up on that kind of well, stuff I get, all I got time. spam, but I, I never once was I like, like, like I said, maybe in an AOL chat room. Yeah. I may. Or ICQ. Mm-hmm. Never did ICQ. I remember that. <laughs> I remember it. I just never, I just never did <clears throat> ICQ. Hmm. So. Did you ever get? Have you ever had? I, I might have been approached by them, but yeah. I never responded. It was like you know you'd get like that friend request of like who the hell is this girl? Hmm. Yeah, you look pretty attractive. Pretty sure that's fake. So <laughs> moving right along, like decline or like ignore. <clears throat> I don't. I don't remember ever getting anything like that on MSN, mm-hmm. um, MySpace. Uh, like I think maybe Facebook, and that's it. Yeah. So is this a problem you run into often? Well, I have my Facebook sets exclusive because of obvious reasons. Spams and stuff, yeah. Spam and creepy stalker during college, but, you know. Hmm. Yeah, for being female. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, well, I'm alone in this one, aren't I? Oh, no. Th- yeah. Come on, guys. Save me up. Here. Like, it, and I, I'm guessing it's, the, 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 like, to answer your question. I was a very question, different person yeah. when I was younger. I, like, to, you know the way. Yeah. Right? To, I guess to answer your question <laughs> is. Naive and horny? Is, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, yeah, that's it. They, they probably, honestly, it's accuracy through sheer volume, I, I can guarantee right? you. Like, I, I, the thing that's crazy is this person, wherever they're located, this is their job is to, like, lure people into providing their credit card information on this site so that they probably get paid a referral fee, transaction fee, whatever it is. So, they obviously are making money doing this. Now, if they're in we'll say a third world country and and even if it's like 50 bucks a pop they they get one out of a hundred they're probably pretty happy Mm. could you imagine the person on the other end stringing you along and they're going like man i got this guy done he's (laughs) in you know it's two weeks it's sales and i've been a sales guy for (laughs) years you turn from a cold lead to a warm lead to a hot lead and you're like i got it oh this guy's talking Oh, he's saying yes. Nope, he's, he's a shyster. That. He's do that. And then and then I start lying and pretending like I'm gonna do what. So you're a client. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just I was just I got to have fun. I was the person on the other side of it, where where I was stringing them along and nope, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> That's like those guys that call your house and are trying to get you to buy something. You just instead of just hanging up on them or telling them to bugger off, you just kind of stick with them for a while until they finally get the hit and hang it's up on the, you. Yeah. Uh, well, have you, you've won a million air miles and it's like, oh, cool. I want to know where uh, you guys are situated right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All the, Welcome I, to uh, West Jet, yeah, <laughs> the, I have to give them credit though, because they've gotten quite good at this. And I showed you guys the pictures. So this person sent me pictures of the same girl in the, the Facebook profile, but just absolutely hilarious. She's wearing, uh, she's, got a cue card with a message written on it and it is so clearly like it's not handwritten it's text it's just a graphic text plopped onto this cue card with whatever script they have 
according to the, the way the conversation is going. Awesome. Like, when you think about it, I mean, the scammers in general are usually pretty smart people. It's unfortunate that they don't use those powers for good. Like, sales. So this is really a PSA. <laughs> 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 the more you know. You could... Yeah, it just boggles. It's my an interesting. Mind. I I love I love the fact that you kind of strung them along. I love the fact that they didn't quit. Oh yeah, yeah they, they tried to go all the way. When I finally got to the point where I was like, okay, I'll do you a favor if you do me a favor, if you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> they kept on going. They're like, okay, well, I'll send you this one picture. You'll get more if you sign up. I'm like, okay, okay, that's not what I was asking for. So give me one more picture. She gave me one more picture. <laughs> And I was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> how about a video now? And it was it was kind of fun to see how far I could push them to do what I wanted to. I guess that's the salesperson and me just trying to close the deal. But uh, <laughs> it's it was funny, and, and now she's not replying to me. It broke my heart. I'm just, what are you up to today? Yeah, she's given up. Yeah. She's given up on I you. I finally said, I'm not going to help you out. Sorry. She didn't win her contest. And she's so like, now okay. She's yeah, yeah. Broken. All and because of you. She's stuck in China. She's, she's, but now I just She's come home to Canada and just just, to her to dreams them. are dead. Yeah. Well, she's one <laughs> of the first Hulk things she plays. ends up telling you, she will say. She. She's like, oh, I had, are you, are you single? I'm like, no, I've got a fiance. Oh, okay. Well, is it okay if I still talk to you? Okay. Next thing after that. Yeah, I was cheated by my boyfriend. He's in the military. He left me and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like... That's pretty open for yeah, the like, second well, thing. That's yeah. really unfortunate. Mm. Love hurts kind of thing. You know, whatever. It's, yes, I mean... Yeah, I just... It was fun. <laughs> I had I had fun with it. That was a lot of work to try to get someone's credit card information. Instead of just yeah, skimming or just yeah. sending the emails or the phone calls. Like, that's a with lot the of amount work. of time they put in for that, you gotta be doing something better. Make yourself more money. Yeah, become a yeah. gold farmer like everyone else. Well, that's my air yeah. conditioner. Yeah. Good. Mm. That's a sexy it's not cold now. Yeah, not cold. Not cold Tara, at all what's your topic? <laughs> uh, mine is, why do we keep making stupid people famous? Like, I'm sorry, but like, there's all this stuff going on in the world. You see all this stuff going on in the news, like genocide's going on over here or like corruption going on over here. But hey, this chick almost showed her boobs. Oh my God, that's amazing. Let's give her a TV show. <laughs> now... You sent this topic, and, and I was thinking about it all day. All, all day. day. <laughs> he forgot about mine real fast. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. No idea what you're talking about, Chris. You're rambling and rambling. <laughs> you now, said words a pictures. minute ago. <laughs> now, I, I totally agree with you. There's a lot of people that I think are like, why? How? How are you? And then I thought... What if that's really the why are stupid people making other people famous? Is it like that's like are these are these people stupid? No, I think it's just the fact that you like poking fun. If you see someone trip and fall, you're gonna go, ha, you fell and I didn't, I'm better. But at the same time, what does that also say about the fact that we have people that actually have entire careers based on the fact that they had a porn leaked? Yeah, like again, and I, 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 I totally agree. I can't stand like. Are but, those stupid but that being people said, or are they brilliant marketers? See, that's the. It thing, was her though. mom that marketed. How creepy is that? I'm sorry. Whoa, who? What? Who are we talking uh, about? Okay, th okay, this particular porn. When I'm thinking like Kardashians are the oh, first okay, ones that come yeah, to yeah, mind. Yeah. Okay. And the hill. Absolutely. Oh, okay, good. <clears throat> are you done? Sorry. Horrible lighting. Horrible. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. Welcome to the internet. Um, true story. No, I've actually never seen, I haven't seen either of those sex tapes. Oh, <laughs> no, that's too bad. You missed nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I know they're out there. No interest. <laughs> If I got a bunch of videos I, for you. I don't, the, the, to answer your question, I, I don't know. I think it's why the same, I think the same question is why do we like reality TV? And that's because people like drama and oh, they like. Garbage TV in general. I think that's, that's what I immediately fall back on yeah. is that like, it's kind of, we've bred this culture and I think Survivor is almost to blame for it. And I know like the, Whoa, the real world, like hang on, just, just let me, let well, me get to my one, point maybe. here for a second. So like the real world kind <laughs> of existed before of it, but yeah. like, Survivor brought this whole reality TV thing to the limelight and like really made it like huge. mainstream and yeah. like huge. It's true. And from that have spawned all of these other channel and channels devoted to it almost and shows that are just like, let's follow real people doing their real, real lives people. and yeah. like look at all these crazy stories that unfold. And it's all made up, and it's garbage television, and I think we have bred 
a culture now that just wants to see crap like that. Well, yeah, but at the same and time, we're also making stupid <clears throat> something you want to be like, oh, 16 and pregnant, I can get money and oh, go online. But you know, no, well, to be I fair, don't think somebody, if, somebody aspires to that. To be honest, the reason I thought or think they become popular, and this was my immediate response, super short, I'll keep it short anyways, because I was long-winded earlier. No. Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> People enjoy those types of, that t- form of entertainment because they like to feel better yeah. than other people. It's like, you mm-hmm. know, when someone tricks And that's you it. That's all it is, is you get to watch somebody be dumb and stupid, and you're like, ha you're so stupid. I would never do that. I'm better than you. Now I feel better. Done. Well, really, if we didn't make them famous, though, they'd just probably turn to a career of, like, bot scanning. So. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Hi, pick up the phone. Oh, maybe they would. <laughs> hey, sweetie, yeah, what I, are you doing? <laughs> I, I th- I'd get into that shit if it paid enough. That's not, the like, again, it's not, that that kind of thing isn't my bag. Those kind of people are, like, I'm not, uh, they're, they're not, that's not my, I don't watch reality TV. I can't stand it. My blood pressure goes through the roof when I watch it. Um, but... That's not saying that it's wrong. Everybody's to each their own. All the power to you if you like that stuff. If you like Survivor, that's great. The first one. Um, I hated every other one. But I, I like think it's. Post. I think it's. Yeah, exactly. Like Chris said, people kind of like watching. You know, I honestly, the Kardashian. I think she's. Uh, she comes across. I think she's a marketing genius because she's made herself in her, this in this whole kind of niche into something that the mom. It, well, everything. The whole family is is made this themselves into like this huge from a porn video. That's like. True. They like, didn't all start from a porn. Well, movie. there's some famous people in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, well, is the Kardashians. The Kardashians is her dad. Her dad is? owns the. Well, her dad right now is her stepdad. Stepdad. Yeah. Well, yeah, but he was is... Olympian. Yeah. Before yeah. he became a she. Right, Jenner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. yeah. Poor and again, Bruce. Anyways, I like Bruce. <clears throat> I, I just, I, I think it's, I, I have no idea. Well, I'm just wondering if it's Why is like Donald Trump running for president? Ew. That's, that's More, not... Better question. Why How is, is he leading, leading? the polls? And I know but, why he's leading the yeah, polls. And, but it's the same thing. It's because we like to watch stupid shit and go, this is amusing me. Ha-ha. It's entertainment. Yeah. Yeah, is, we're losing he's brain not a cells. politician. He's an entertainer. Yeah. But there's he's important things. Yeah, but that, that on... speaks volumes to the, the shit society? that the United States will get into if they act. Oh, he won't get voted. Like, he, that's, he, that's he won't even win. I'm moving to Cuba right now. Well, I shouldn't say absolutely no way. It's very unlikely he even becomes the re- representative of that party, let alone win the presidency. It's entertaining. Yeah, that we're not we're not Americans, so we don't have polls. It's, it's so. some, we've got our own issues in Canada oh, right yeah. now, so uh, I don't know. I think it's a, I think it's uh, I, I don't know. Demand. Well, that was the issue because though. I mean, is because it like a distraction tactic. Yeah, yeah, it has to be, and there, I think oh, it comes yeah. down to real TV, like t- quality TV, what, like what you find on like HBO and like. Do you remember the Learning Channel back when it was the Learning Channel? Yeah, well, yeah, instead of TLC. Um, A and E was actually more like you know a bunch of murder mysteries. And and it used to be arts and entertainment. It'd yeah. be like all documentaries. Mm-hmm. That's expensive. I think that's why. And and so we, I don't know. We just that's reality true. TV reality TV is, is su- super, cheap. Cheap. super cheap. Yeah. In yeah. comparison, well, it's because you're paying random people like. Yeah. Oh, I'll pay you fifty thousand. Yeah. Kind of live yeah. your life, but we're gonna tell you what you're doing. Yeah. 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 And we're then as you scripted. grow up and up and up, and we can just like you're you're at the power of the network because they'll just cut you off. Yeah, From what know. we know, I don't know. who knows. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> like I I hate reality TV show now, but there was a while there. Like especially like my last job when I traveled a whole bunch. There'd be nights that like I just get into my hotel room and be like, while I'm working, I just I need someone in the background. I'd usually put it to A and E, and then you got like your storage wars and like Dog the Bounty Hunter and yep. shit. And, like that's all in the background. Yep. Like yep. yeah. Like I storage I actually for entertaining. for some reason <laughs> I, I, I found yeah. that entertaining. But like as I watched more and more and like started to see just the amount of those types of shows grow, it just yeah, something just tweaked in me. And I was like, oh, this is just such garbage again all the power of the people who like it i don't get it though yeah no no offense to people that like that stuff if that's your type of thing but it's just yeah because those people in my like in my personal opinion it's so. garbage yeah. television well they might like us too so and <laughs> and as you said there's just simply a demand for it and that's why we make these people famous well that's the sad thing is the second something's like oh keep just making this crap meanwhile like 10 years later you have entire channels dedicated to nothing but crap television i mean well, TV's gonna die and, anyway. And before TV, I mean, we had and still do like tabloid magazines with the same shit, like yeah, was, focusing like, on, yeah, yeah. like you know, focusing oh, on like, the stupid alien. stuff that's going on. I'm also of the opinion that like 
I really don't care what famous people are getting up to. And these people like snapping uh, photos, like, look at so and so in her bathing suit. Oh, there's some fat showing there. Who the fuck cares? <laughs> <laughs> the thing that I, I follow the same perspective at the same time. So dumb. Um, we have like things like entire countries are falling apart. Meanwhile, no one's paying attention to that or even trying to even yeah. get yeah. attention to it because Takes someone effort. wants to see someone's tits yeah. out. What was. Takes effort. What was that? Uh, Same why the vote like, was it the donkey or some weird animal thing happened and it went completely wrong. But the on... lion? No, no, no. no uh, there's that Russell was the that's lion. different. That's... The two camels? Maybe it was the camels, but something big on that day happened and it was like a political thing and like the the states had just passed some bill and and then camels got free. I yeah, and then it was like camels go free yeah. and there was like all over the internet. Yeah. And then, like, this little subsection of the internet was, oh, and by the way, they passed this really awesome bill, or not awesome bill, I can't yeah. remember what it Oh, was. by the way, we're in your but internet now. Real real news was a complete backseat to... And that happened all the versus, time. Versus, yeah. Yeah. I work for a newspaper, and I know that, like, sex, blood... Sells. Sells. Yes. So... That's why you use a girl in Or the, the local sports team. That, those are the... Basically, it's a local sports team. They're death, great golfers. And then, sex. Maybe soon they'll be good hockey. And then players, maybe okay. politics maybe. down the road. That's basically what it comes down. And, and right now we have a football team that might do something. Okay, my topic. <laughs> my topic is a little bit. It might be. It's a little bit this. Just little, sprinkles. Little, yeah, little that? sprinkles. Pixie dust. So I was thinking. Oh, I had, I had a couple topics, but I, I came around to if you could choose anybody to have a beer with and ask them one question, because I'd always there's lots of people in the world. I'd be like, ah, oh, like, like Dave Grohl. I'd really like to sit down. With Dave Grohl, he's in Edmonton, so um, and and have a beer with him. I don't know what I would ask Dave Grohl because so that I, he got nixed. Because I'd just be like, oh man, you're Dave Grohl. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you'd fanboy and be like, I like music. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I'd even fanboy. It's just one of those like, okay, just tell me a story. Like, just you know, like whatever. So, my question is: is I would have a beer with Batman, not Bruce Wayne, but I would have a beer with Batman. And I would ask him, why the fuck don't you kill people? <laughs> Use a gun, damn you it. You realize all of this would be like one comic book if you just blew everybody Done. up. Instead of, I get there's a, he's got rules and he doesn't want to be bad like them, but like, honestly. He's got a code to abide by. I know, so but the, the code. When he uses guns. It would just be. Different code. And and like and not Bruce Wayne. I want Batman. I want so is this like Batman several years into his career as Batman who's like, he's... Fought supervillains, put them in jail. They've they broken out. out of jail. He's fought them again. them again. Yeah. Put them in a, a petter jail. <laughs> they broke out of that jail. <laughs> Suck at your job. Yeah, like, freeze them or something. I don't know. But, like, yeah, that that would be my question. Like, please, please, just... And if you don't want to kill them, like, like, uh, like paralyze them. Like paralyze them or something. <laughs> so that... You both went to the same place. Like, just made them. <laughs> paralyze them in the, like, supervillains are just going to get bionic legs. Nah, like, but if you start from, like, the C4 down or something, and then, like, just really... <laughs> Too soon, man. <laughs> Oh God! Um, just fracture their own. That's right. that's who I because I, I want to know that I I'm not really big into comics, but I, that always bothers me. That and why Superman just doesn't like Clark Kent, Lois Lane. Wow, well, <laughs> he just could obliterate everybody. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's dumb. <clears throat> There's a lot of other problems I have with comic books, but I, I want to sit down with uh, with Batman. Thank and God be for like, multiverse. What kind of beer do you want? <laughs> a dark beer. <laughs> no, he'd dark be like, thoughts. I'll have a Pilsner. <laughs> I'll have ready for the beer, please. Blonde. Yeah, <laughs> blonde. Something really nice with the orange wedge on top. Oh, right? gosh. Oh. And then he'd take a sip and he'd get like foam on his nose. <laughs> so anyway, I want to know what your guys, is, who who he'd sit down with. Okay, so when you first asked the question and stuff, I originally was thinking of like real world people. Who would I have a beer with? And I couldn't place a single one. I was thinking like, when I go back, would I have like a beer with like a, a world leader? No, I really don't care to have a beer with a world leader. <laughs> would I, would like any sort of like famous person, I'm like, don't really have like a question to ask him like if there was anyone like real life right now that i'd love to sit down and have a beer same thing with like dave Grohl, greg miller God, i would love beer. to sit down and just share a beer with greg, miller, greg but i come on our show <laughs> what i I'm couldn't ask we him have beer. yeah it was you go to vancouver oh vancouver it's such a pretty city it's so warm <laughs> whatever it's 30 plus degrees El, here. El Nino's hitting right yeah. now. It's freaking hot in We're getting a heat wave in August. We're hiding yeah. in a basement right now. With air conditioning, so it's okay. Yeah. Greg, actually the whole kind of funny yeah. crew. 
Kevin, Kevin come everybody, on come on down. You can stay in my semi renoed house. <laughs> No, you don't want to. He has a raging <laughs> You don't want to be there. No, nobody wants. So what question would you ask him then? Uh, Craig Miller, I, that's actually not the answer to my question. Oh, okay, the oh, okay, okay. Then you said that, well, I don't necessarily mean someone real. So who would I want to have a beer with? Cloud Strife. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Really? Hi, boys Only girls. because <laughs> my question really would be, Mickey, have a beer with me. And then I want to see where that goes. Because I'm assuming <laughs> that Mickey Mouse <laughs> hasn't <laughs> drank before. Yeah. And that one the beer is going to sit off. He's a pretty small guy. He'd get pretty that's, drunk. Uh, that's going to sit off some Walt Disney debauchery of like, tell me wars, about the, sure the, the yeah. behind the scenes really? of, of what goes Mini on behind that like camera. That, I bet you get that's... real racist. <laughs> 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 I remember back in the day when the black and white camera. Yeah. I liked it. That it would be way. that scene. Separation. It would be that. It would be the scene from The Simpsons where it's like, "I'll have a beverage," and then all of a sudden, like he's like dancing around the Homer's dancing around the tent bowl. <laughs> Missing scene. Cut. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh boy. I, think I like we're that. Going to jail. I like that actually. Mickey Mouse would be good. That's really good because he would. He's old. He's old as fuck. He's old. He would have some <laughs> stories to tell. Like, like, would you go back and like be Steamboat Willie old Mickey Mouse, or would you want like now Mickey Mouse I'd where he's like smokes? Want, like, maybe, like, maybe, more time. He's, maybe like seventies, eighties Mickey Mouse. He's he's seen some things. So he's in color, time. like he's mouse in color. size okay. Mickey. Mouse in color. Oh, wicked! So how that, much makes, that makes me think of just Roger Rabbit because then you'd be he would walk <laughs> into a bar and and everybody'd be like, "Fuck, that's Mickey Mouse." <laughs> that was really good. Jay Van <laughs> I like that. That's good. Sure. Crap. Well, is it... do you want do you want him to go I first? I go first if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Um, Elon Musk, uh, because first I love his cars. Uh, I love what he's doing with SpaceX and just all of it. My question though would be, why are you against artificial intelligence? Because it's scary as hell. Yes, I understand that, but like what he's doing with his vehicles right now is not that far off from artificial intelligence anyways. Well, there's there will be artificial intelligence like the car will know when to do certain things, right? Yeah, right. And but there's a difference between that and like making its own decisions to learn yeah. and to I can't yeah. let you do I, that. I, I understand that it can be scary to think that, but as somebody who's as as brilliant as Elon Musk and a lot of the other guys who don't are are cautioning the world about artificial intelligence, but, but is it that you guys think something bad's gonna happen or you're worried that something's gonna be smarter than you i think it's the i i think it's the matrix we've turned into batteries type mm-hmm. of situation because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. i like, i don't disagree i i, I remember when they or the terminator situation. like it was him stephen hawking uh, and there's like five really yeah, like there's like some of the super brilliant people brilliant are like people yeah, in the world right now totally are saying, no we not no but be very we need to be very very careful with how we proceed with artificial intelligence. So don't trust Roomba. No. Yeah. It'll, It'll start with the Roomba. It'll take your legs out. <laughs> You'll be shinless and known as Tony. <laughs> Twice now. Uh, oh, poor God. Tony. But I, yeah, Tony. to be honest, I would Tony. love to just sit down and, and have a conversation with him and just like throw ideas at him and just like, what do you think of this? And where do you see this going? And this and that and just... It'd be amazing. That that is somebody I think he'd probably be so sick of me by the end of the day. <laughs> probably by the, end of the first beer, but I'd be like, man, like I, I just to be able to He's, talk to somebody. One like beer, that. Chris. I said one <laughs> beer. You've no, had no, seven. No. I haven't even had half of one yet. <laughs> two, two beers. Okay. A bottle of I, wine. How about that? I find it hilarious, like AI and the applications for it, mm-hmm. and like what it can do and the things that it could replace. And yet, just last week, you tweeted out that you weren't sure how you felt about McDonald's replacing the <laughs> <No, no, no. laughs> yeah. yeah, the touchscreen order. Hang screen. on. There's there's no, a I reason why I posted trucks. that. I <laughs> the reason okay. I'm not sure about it was more just the way they got it set up. It was weird. Like I when we did it because we used it and we're like. Okay, let's try this out. It took longer doing that than it would have because there was no lineup. We could just walk up. I'd like a coffee. I'd like this and that. Okay, done. Here's your order. It took us longer doing it. So like, okay, well, that was kind of pointless. But if it's busy, you've got your standard two tills or whatever it is at a McDonald's. Now all of a sudden, you got three kiosks. That's really like there's six people kind of taking orders. And now all they need is more cooks to put bang out the orders. 
So I I love the idea. Don't get me wrong. I actually like it. But I was just like, really? McDonald's? I didn't expect that from McDonald's. As weird as it sounds, I'm surprised they don't get you to sign up the first time with mm, like with a card and then and then they McDonald's print a card accounts. out mm. and then that card has like a uh, like a, a scan bar or a UPC code or uh, something like that so then the next time you go you scan it and then they remember all your orders so then the next time you go you're like yep I want my coffee order boom and you're done fast mm. hey McDonald's are you watching this? million dollar that, idea that's a great idea because like, right? and and even yeah. the the best part is is you don't have to do it in store. You could do it on their website. That's what I would like. And they send you a card, and you just or your or freaking put it on your PayPass phone and just go up. Bing. They already have an app. Like, why don't they have saved orders and just like click? You can do it on this. Starbucks. You yeah. order on yeah. Starbucks early. So. Yeah, no, I have my card on there. It's beep done. No, I'm all for machines taking over those types of jobs. Go go go. The, you just you, want the machine cooking the burgers now, so it comes out like fast. Oh yeah, yeah. and with no hair. <laughs> and people that are against that, I said, well. To save your job, just you gotta you gotta work in a role that makes you come up with creative solutions and problem solving skills. The the jobs that are being replaced are like order taking, basic labor, things that can be automated. Yeah, just mm. sorry, I'm sorry you don't. That's taking your job. It does suck, but if technology is moving at such a fast pace, you gotta keep up with it. And if you're not gonna keep up with it, buy a Tesla. I want a Tesla. By the way, Elon, if you want to send, but, if you uh, want to, if you want to send us a Tesla to test drive, <laughs> we can look at the tech. It's no problem, no big deal. Or the batteries run my house. I would love house. to do an episode on Tesla. We'll contact him. We'll tweet tweet him. All our everybody tweet at uh, Elon Musk and say, hey, yo, and Tesla. Like, hey Tesla, let's get. You need to be on Tech Geek Gamers. To mm-hmm. Have a beer with Chris. I will go out to Vancouver, which I believe is the closest Tesla dealership, to do this episode. And Corey and everybody will come. There you have it. I guess I'm coming with him now. Oh, everybody. Yeah. We're all everybody? going. Oh, okay. This, this is the okay, crew. Tara. The company's Tara, paying for that. Tara, right? what's your, what's <laughs> your, uh, who's your person? You, you had a hard time with this question. Well, I had someone in real life, and then you told me it could be anyone. So I was like, crap. So do I go with anyone, or do I go with my original? What was your original? My original is actually my grandfather, because he died before I was born. He was a badass mother, you know. He did, he did shit that, like, he was... Um, a constab in Newfoundland. He worked in Boston. He worked in New York. He was on friggin' horseback. He was like the <laughs> sheriff in my hometown. He just like kick ass, take names, big, huge, tough dude. And his only good photos we have of him are in a friggin' museum. So I like You're to sit in a down. Museum? Yeah. That's kind of cool. That's cool. The, the dummy that wears his uniform <laughs> is actually like six feet tall and it's still too short because his outfit comes to here on the dummy. He was a badass. That's an awesome answer. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I that's actually really didn't know about that. Seriously, I like sit there and just like you know tell me stories because he was a wicked storyteller. Supposedly. Here's what real beer tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> He's a newfie. He knows what stuff it tastes like. <laughs> One of these assholes. <laughs> you <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Granddad, if you're watching, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. uh, that's that's awesome. Answer, I, right? I think that's a, a that's a great answer. I, um, I never met my my parents on my, but they are they're not badass. So my grandparents. I met my parents, but okay, Rob, you're last. So I'm you, last. You better have a damn good question. No pressure. It's, it's an okay question, I guess. Like, <laughs> damn good. I'll leave you guys to decide. So I want to know. Uh, I thought I'd come with the the simplest question. Actually, when I heard your guys already, this is, what is your favorite story? from video games so you've played a game and the story touched you that's what i want to know like something when you played a video game it touched you yeah <laughs> <laughs> show, show me on the show where this video Only game touched this you <laughs> i i just want to know what what video game stories have made an impact for you that you really enjoyed for me it's the the metal gear series metal gear, metal gear. it's a, a lot of people Crap, hark, battle. hark on that uh, series for its complexity and just the fact that it just makes no sense and but if you actually big boss is russian <laughs> Snake! Yeah. Snake! The blood pressure is right. <laughs> How do you still? Do you just go back and set that? You just crouch so, for three seconds and yeah, then you go stop. Exactly. That's exactly how it In works. like one piece of grass. So if you actually like really like pay attention to the story and stuff, what Kojima has weaved with like all of his games is just phenomenal. super cool. And Don't really go into awesome. it because it'll take a long time to explain. It, it absolutely <laughs> will. If you're just getting introduced to Metal Gear with the Phantom Pain coming out in September. You have a lot of backstory to Maybe. catch up on if you like, want to get the caught last up. one. The last one kind of told and 
tidied it's everything own. up, but didn't it? Every and for the most part, they've all come out with like little subsets of like explaining the story so far and like what's happening, who these characters are, how they fit in with the story, and like, those are pretty good. There's also some videos out there of like Metal Gear in five minutes and type of which thing. isn't long enough. No, it's not. Because like, that'll be a super whole basic. I've read. I I I I asked you when Metal Gear Five, like with the first. Uh, I think they came up with like a fifteen or eighteen minute uh, a video a gameplay video. I was like, oh man, I gotta play this game. I know nothing of Metal Gear Zero Zilch, and uh, I'm like, you guys gotta help me out because my brother is huge and he's a huge. So then I had like five wiki pages of stuff to wow. start me, and then there's like a whole arc, and it is a really really interesting story. And and the way the game's told in that <laughs> the first game you play. You're act. You actually kill the people you're playing now. Yep. Hmm. Wow. It's, it's really so. Like it's it, he. Yeah, he has done a pretty cool. Kojima, you should come on the show. That'd be awesome. <laughs> uh, we, we heard you're not wanted Canada. at Konami. It's anymore, super cool. So very complex though. Here. It's super complex. Yeah, though. very extremely complex. And he weaves a whole lot of like other commentary and stuff too. Like I've read and heard other analysis of like the whole the point of the stories and things like that. And it's just. Really good if you even like get down to that level too, and you go that step further. So, I, the Metal Gear series has always been one that the story always shone for me. I, for the longest time, I thought Guns of the Patriots was the best game on PS3. It's probably not until The Last of Us came out that I thought that. So cool. Yeah, Chris. Uh, I you say it was an easy question. I could not, and I still can't think of a game that just jumps out at me in regards to story. Unfortunately, I don't know if that's because I'm just not playing enough story-driven games lately. That's for damn sure it is the case. Go play um, a mobile, you fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you know, I was actually when you said my maybe guys, it's your not guys, that easy of a question. I guess for me, it's an easy question because those are the games that drive me. Yeah. Like, I like story-driven games, but I guess asking you guys, maybe story-driven games well, aren't your thing. It's, so. so even when I was younger, I'm I'm trying to think of some of the games I played that were a little bit more story-driven. So Secret of Mana, like a lot of the RPGs and. And, and per perhaps that was one of them. But to be honest, I don't even remember the story. So that obviously answers the question. They they weren't that memorable for me, or I've just got horrendous memory and just can't remember it. So my answer is Tetris. I love the backstory of Tetris. Um, you know, building blocks and making things go away. Or Dr. Mario. You gotta find a cure, right? So I don't know. I, I think. I started The Last of Us, which I know is a great story, and, and now I, I feel ashamed that I don't have a game to answer, so I'm <laughs> going to finish that by the end of this year. By the end of this <laughs> right, year, you right. heard it here. Tara? Um, big, huge, freaking shocker, uh, The Legend of Zelda. Zelda yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, I've been, it's one of my first, actually, I think it was actually my first RPG, um, you know, back since, like, what, 86? Yeah, something. Is like it that. an RPG? Yeah, it's yeah. a role-playing mm -hmm. game. You play as... as you are Link. I, I figure, I, I'd always consider it like an action-adventure almost. Yeah, Which is like I a guess. subset of an RPG. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But I mean, right, the story... Yeah. The beginning of the story is pretty easy. Go castle, save woman, kill bad guy. And then it goes to, okay, well, why am I doing this? Or this mm -hmm. is happening... Okay, which one happens first? Because now they've gotten into a thing. They have a compedium that's like that thick. Yes, I own it that goes through and there's actually a map that you can go through the timeline for all these games all the way from like 86, 87 till now. Mm -hmm. And it's ridiculous where they don't, all fit in. a couple like like jump back like Yeah, in there's time. a couple like there's one that came out in like 98 that supposedly happened before the one back in like, you know, yeah. early on and then there's another one that just came out that supposedly happened before all of those or it was like Link's Adventure so, around that time. And Do the Zelda games like forgive me i've never been a big nintendo guy i played ocarina of time mm. <clears throat> but the one thing i always wondered are does the zelda games all exist congruently then like is there actually like a timeline there for is those? a timeline like, they exist in the same not world? not apparent yeah. it's not it's not it's a yeah. non-apparent because i always thought it's just like this is link and zelda in a new story but you know the characters so yeah. here sometimes it's not even link actually, yeah <clears throat> There are comic books I, that I, I Link's, like, Zelda? Link's like an idea. He's bigger than the single person. He is person. the hero, so it's just... He's like Batman. Yeah. Didn't Link... Just isn't one of the theories is that in Majora's Mask, Link's actually dead? There's one... That's one of the big fan theories. Yeah. Another one is the fact that he's going through depression after Ocarina of Time, where he gets split off from everyone and been like, yeah, yeah you're a hero! Leave. Yeah. 
And then he's just dealing with that when the, that happens. The depression. So it's like the game's actually all in his head. It's yeah. all a dream. It's like Super Mario 2, <laughs> but not as lame. I like that answer because that's like a super, like, like, like uh, Rob's. It's a super overarching kind of story. Oh, but big time. Metal Gear is a very story driven game and Link uh, like Legend of Zelda with Link and is not it's a very action adventure with a, like an underlying story like that's super cool. Like there's that one commonality but they kind of go nuts with it. Yeah, and they like lots of times they'll reference like old games or other games or or certain times and that's how I think people have kind of pieced together and well, it's super like, cool. I like that. I like that answer. Like Wind Waker, the idea is it's, it's still the same world from Ocarina of Time and all the other ones, but it's been drowned. Yeah. Spoilers. It's old. You should know this by now. Um, and then at the same time, you're pretty much destroying the old world. And instead of it actually being Link and Zelda, it's like a weird. You're you're now the hero, and you're now Zelda from somehow you are yeah. reborn. Blah de blah. There's a lot of rebirth in this stuff, so get used to it. But it's really interesting in so much as you can have a totally fresh take on a story, but you still see like common things like your favorite, um, like your your sword and your like the grappling hook and all this fun stuff. Master sword, I'm pulling them, getting the master sword is always like especially so many swords. Yeah, so many swords. I only have one of them, but um, sorry, but there's always this whole thing. Of course, the whole I'm not freaking. Oh, so that dude Zelda, yeah, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But I almost made that joke to a girl who's <laughs> cosplayed as Link, and I was like, "Oh, you're Zelda." I thought she would have probably slapped me with the shield and sword. So. Well, it's kind of like people in Super Metroid. You're Metroid. Yeah. No. 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 Not a weird alien. It's like Cameron Normac is Cameron backwards. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All right, mine's really easy. Mine, um, there, there's, there's two stories that I really, really, really like. Um, but I, I'll only go with one, which is the first infamous game to me is like, uh, it was the, the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. I love the first infamous game. Um, it, it, it was the end of that. The game is monotonous to a point like it's just, it, it came, it really drags, but I was really compelled with that game. And then the end of the game, the last boss fight, I'm like, it was so many mind fucks that were going on. <laughs> like so much that. I called my wife down and I'm like, you gotta watch this! She hadn't played a single moment of that game and I played the boss fight again and I'm like, how cool is that? And she's like, what? I don't, I don't get it. He, the bad guys, the hero from the future coming back and then you kill yourself. It's super cool. Is that uh, suicide? I don't know. Mm -hmm. The world was ending anyway. He yeah. had to come back and to, to find a way to save train, the world. Yeah, he Mercy came back God. to train your... He, he, the future you comes back to train yourself to become a better hero to stop the world from ending in the future. Ah, so screw it. The but they don't. Frame. That's such a cool plot. That's a really it's cool. It's so, really cool. It's plot. super cool. And it, it not once did they uh, like. They're like he just appears, and maybe smarter people than me would have been like maybe he's from the future and he's me. But never do they allude to that. <laughs> I never once. Oh, they, so uh, they don't drop those massive hints like oh there's no, my mom. I mean my mom. They just drop this huge bomb on you like in like ah oh, I just loved it. The other one is. Um, a crack in time, Rat Ratchet and Clank has got a really good family story that made me cry because I'm a big sap for that kind of stuff. That but Infamous is... Wait, wasn't there a game that made both of you cry? Valiant Hearts? Valiant Hearts makes me cry. Yeah. So yeah. obviously there's a good story there. It's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a fantastic story. That's like, But it's like up. Uh, so like it's like seven minutes of up just tugs on the heartstrings. Well, like, it, like it, it's like up and like you're like that's a good. I never want to watch up again. I want to watch up. Like in like when my son wants to watch up, I'll be like, yeah, I'll watch up. Yes. <laughs> oh, I got something in my eye. Just, I don't think I could watch the final scene of uh, of Valiant Hearts. Again. Yeah, it's super. Just, I, just I was like, like yeah. That you was... play through the game and it's just all. You know, it's leading half... to it. Yeah, though, I but... know, and like especially like those final. This is leading. This is the international. Yeah. Stuff. Those final like few levels oh, and it's stuff so that's that, that doing. And you're like, no, nah, like, yeah. Like it's a puzzle game. I'm enjoying it, and like it's and fun. Then it, and then it gets heavy fun. really fast. <laughs> you should you should play. It's like a four hour play. Well, it's yeah. like the first season of uh, The Walking Dead. By the end of it, I mean, I think again that was the first playthrough I watched. That I was actually like crying like a little bitch at the end. I need to play the it. Telltale the Telltale game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. not yeah. that really crappy. No, no, I, I, I just played. It was cool. Oh yeah. my I liked god. It. But you, yeah. yeah. That's it. Leave a comment below for any of these questions. That's that's all encompassing. Also, international sign for that. If you guys didn't know, I I'm an international man. If you didn't know that. So do you drink Martin, tea like this? Super international. <laughs> super Martin.
Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Leave a comment below for any of the the, the <laughs> <laughs> any of the questions that were asked today. What what's your favorite whatever or who'd you have a beer with or why did you get scammed? Have you been scammed? Please don't leave me hanging on this one. Please. <laughs> do you like do you like weird famous people? We don't. Chris does. And if you do, tell me why, please. Yeah. And then our two questions. <laughs> uh, I'm one of your hosts, Corey. This is Rob, Tara, and Chris, and we will see you next Monday. What am I doing again? I'm crawling inside a goat butt to see many wondrous things. <laughs>